Hi, everyone. Well, it's a wonderful Sunday, and I'm I'm here to to sort of share some new um, direction and some new guidance that I'm going through for 2023. Now, I've sort of, with time and with um, <clears throat> practice and with some mentoring, um, I've decided to move my focus more towards um, wellness. If you if you don't know me or you're just finding out who I am right now, I'm Elima Hong and my uh, account, I talk about uh, passive income and positivity. And I've done that all last year or part of last year when I started. And um, I have a whole story about how I started. But what I did was towards the end of the year, I started to be more intentional. And I looked over the <clears throat> messages or the videos that I pr provided, and I wanted to find out which ones were doing much better, which ones were resonating more with the people who were watching. And I learned that a lot more of my videos about wellness, about positivity, about energy, about letting go. Yeah, I do a lot of those sort of talks because I've I've shared that because I was going through that. Right. I was learning how to do all of those things. And I was being very intentional to include positivity in everything that I do. Right. So as I found out that people were resonating more with those messages, then I started to think, okay, I'm going to double down. I'm going to give, I'm going to do what the universe does. Okay. If you are interacting with something, you know, regularly and on a daily basis, then the universe says, okay, well, I'm going to give you more of that. So I'm going to do that for you. Again, if you don't know me, I'm Ilima Hong. Um, I'm on TikTok, Facebook, I have Instagram, um, I have a YouTube channel. But mainly I'm there to just share information about passive income. And I did that with um, tips on affiliate marketing and digital products. And then um, I talk about positivity and mainly about energy, about um, shifting your mindset to be more positive, to be more of a growth mindset. And there's a ton of terms that people use around that topic. And so I brought that up because today I'm sharing, you know, a little bit more about how you could start your year by doing some uh, really just some key things to boost and to reignite your energy around positive mindset. So if you didn't know me, um, my story is such that um, I'm 52 years old. I'm a wife of a wonderful husband for 23 years. We've been married. Actually, we're going on 24 soon. And I have two adult children in college. And um, I have... 25 plus years of working in businesses and working in um, education, um, particularly I have experience in human resources. So I've just went along my life. I had have, have had a wonderful life. It hasn't been free of challenges. Um, it hasn't been free of grief. You know, I lost my my father at a very young age. He passed with um, cancer and a brain tumor. I was only four. My brothers were only seven and eight. And my mom ended up being a widow and raising her children. And uh, with a wonderful outer family that we had, you know, we did okay. And then, um, you know, I went through college and met a wonderful man. I got married, I had children. And then I lost my mother uh, back in 2012, 2010, excuse me, it's been 12 years now. Anyway, um, nothing prepared me for that. You know, it was such a huge void. The grief was, was it was so um, held deeply inside of me that healing, and, and if you've gone through this yourself, it certainly you can you can understand this if this is sort of how you reacted my grief was so deep and um also bur buried under you know just my hectic life that i chose to have with a young family that every now and then 
it would bubble up, right? Just the memory of her, even today, at this very moment, the memory of her would would um, just evoke some really deep uh, pain and sorrow. Okay, so I'm healing, right? As we need to. Uh, grief is no timeline, honestly. They try to put some steps in place so that you can find meaning around it. And maybe you can look forward to moving on through the phases of grief. But the steps can be overlapping. And then um, more recently, I lost my brother, my older brother, my oldest brother to, um, we don't even know yet why. Like he just passed in his sleep. He was only 56 years old. Um, passed peacefully, peacefully in his sleep. And that was just before Thanksgiving of this year. So to say that, um, you know, I've had challenges, certainly. Um, but the real reason why I even got on this channel was because um, I went through a major life shift and change in my employment. And um this is what I sort of talk more of a, a an oversight is an overarching theme is that I'm really trying to speak to people over 50, 50 and over, or a little further into their careers, along with identifying all of the major life challenges and milestones we have. And now, of course, you don't need to be 50 to have a major life challenge, but we tend to because I'm going through it, that sort of be, is sort of the people that I'm talking to. However, that employment change was gnarly, was just incredible. And it was a matter of just realizing like I was in my career as an educator, I was going through the motions and going through the steps of bettering myself. I got credentialed, I got certified, I put in some major, major time and um, effort and investment in money. And if anybody tells you that, you know, our school professionals really have, you know, a nine to five job, uh, we have summers off and so forth. Well, I'm here to tell you like 80% to 60% of the professionals are there beyond 40 hours a week and are there, um, if not on the campus, we're definitely planning and we're doing things at night and on the weekend. And if you work for a high school or a very active school, you're there at all of the students' events. Okay, so that's sort of the life I had and I accepted it and I was thrilled. I felt I found a real purpose. But you're gonna realize, um, or as I did, that I still it's still a job. And so you can have, which I had an incredible relationship with my administrator, incredible, innovative, exciting. Um, she was compassionate and um, of such a visionary, okay? However, when you work for a company, things can change without your say input, um, without knowing, okay? So that's what happened to me. We had a new boss come in had a new agenda of things and just started to move pieces around. And that included me. Um, now, it doesn't seem like much, but um, I had embedded and I wasn't, you know, now I look back, I was very entrenched in my job and I had some major projects on the line and I had, you know, kids counting on me, families counting on me, but that didn't matter because it didn't fit the agenda of the new supervisor. And I was um, moved. <clears throat> and that alone was difficult, shocking. Anyway, so how did I go from there to here where I'm at the point that I realize that I don't have control over a lot around me? Nothing around me, actually. I only have control over my response. Yeah, my emotions, my thoughts. So I started to see the real benefit and necessity of focusing on me and building the inner strength that I already had, right? We all already have it. I have those muscles, but I had to condition them and I had to build them and I had to work them so that I could overcome the strength of negative thoughts and, and the negative um limiting thoughts that we have 
Okay, so they, they're strong too, because I conditioned them, because I work them out, right? I listen to them, I create them, and I play them over and over and over. We go running all day, every day, okay? Me and my limiting thoughts. So instead, I had to focus on building the positive skills and muscles. And so I have this presentation here that I'm going to quickly show you about just how important um, being aware of maybe what you're looking forward to. So my presentation is on the greater quality of life, right? There's a quality of life and you might have it, but going forward into 2023, I am going to work on improving that quality of life. Okay. So let me share that right now. I hope this Okay, so what does a greater quality of life look like, right? Um, this is a very simple mini ebook that I created. I created on, on Canva. And um, <clears throat> my account is really more, and I'm more clearly aware that my account is really more about digital products and information. And sharing that information with you in the form of digital products. So ebooks templates, workshops, um, challenges, which I'm gonna share in a little while. But here, here it is. What does a greater quality of life look like to you? Okay. One aspect of a greater quality of life could be your physical health, right? And I'm gonna kind of roll in what I work on here more so is my emotional and my mental health. But physical health is going to be, I'm going to wrap that in because this is a short presentation. Having a strong immune system, right, for the physical health, right, exercise, nutrition, and just having that as a priority. Um, and then for mental and emotional health, it's resting, um, it's meditating, deep breathing, uh, walking out in nature, and surrounding yourself with space, right, like space to sort of let your mind let go of those limiting thoughts that I had just talked about, right? What is one, <clears throat> one way that you can do that to improve your physical, emotional, mental health? You could provide that here in the comments, okay? Share with everyone. And then another one is having strong, healthy, supportive relationships friends and family, okay? Now, it doesn't need to be a lot of people, that's for sure. Um, and I actually feel like if there's more and 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 more people in a larger circle of people that you really can be intimate with, um, awesome, right? If that works for you. But I find that we're all made of energy, right? I've spoken about that. We're all made of energy, okay? It's like, even this, you know, this is energy, even though it feels like it's a solid surface and that you can't without, not without a lot of effort, you can't puncture the surface, but it's still energy, right? These are all just balls of <clears throat> incredible energy put together to create surfaces. But then out in just the open air, there is energy. So as you are sharing that energy with all of these larger groups of people, you know, how how much do you, um, oh, what is the word, uh, expose yourself, right, to others' energies? Because so since they are energy and your energy, um, you're going to find that even when you work with people who maybe you don't, um, <clears throat> they call it vibe with, vibe, you know, your vibrations, your energy, um, you feel a little like you're not communicating clearly with that person then that means that your energies are not a match. And, and again, as I was mentioning, if you're in a larger group of people, that tends to be a challenge. But if you just have a, a small group of people that you can count on and respect you and you respect, treat you with kindness and you treat with kindness, that's important to achieve the greater uh, quality of life. And then financial stability, right? You, um, I, I don't believe all of life's happiness is about money. That's for sure. That's for sure. But 
the sense of stability and security is necessary because you we live in a world of um you know in our society our society exchanges money you know for shelter for food for transportation right it just exchanges money that way so you need you know a source of of income that provides you that can provide for you and create at least um what is it called uh fixed expectations right you have a fixed expectation that you have a home and you have a uh, transportation and you have clothing and you have food and if you are a head of a household right if your mom or dad you have children counting on you that is a critical um area of your life that you have to prioritize um you have to find balance honestly right the balance of aspiring and um obtaining a way to provide for your family and then a balance of being with your family and and that's why I find the most um interesting area of a side you know forming of a of another source of income or passive income which I talk about in my account is online is an online business right which is what I do okay through challenges through workshops through my digital products I create you know a rapport with my following and um my products talk about a problem and provide solutions right in my case it's about wellness and it's about helping people to strengthen their emotional and mental muscles right around their wellness around being positive um, my digital products can provide that information. Um, I've done, I have my own experience, which I always uh, begin, you know, that's the foundation of the products I create and the sales I create. And then it's around research, right? It's around my interaction. It's around actual research. Sometimes I'll use peer reviewed journals and I kind of will get some real statistics and some real theories that also feed into the digital product and the information that I provide. So anyway, a side income as well as your regular income, but keeping in mind my story yeah, at the beginning, folks, right? I worked for someone, I still work for someone. So they still dictate to me, you know, when I come to work, what I get paid for the work I do, um, what I need to do on my job, where I will go at the drop of a dime, right? You're going to go here. So shift everything that you've done in point A and go to point B and do it again. So having a side source of income is couldn't be more important than today and now as we're entering into 2023 and we're facing a very shaky economy ahead of us. We're looking at, if we're not already in it, in some parts of our country or in sort of the undercurrent of a recession. And um, I've, I've mentioned that a few times in my video about imploring and encouraging our 50 and fierce 50 women over, I'm sorry, fierce women over 50 and fierce men over 50, right? Do something today. Don't just count on that source, one source of income. Do something today to add to it in the form of the reason I like an online business is because of the flexibility, but do something today to pad your financial situation and um, protect yourself from what's ahead. And then I talk about um, if you're looking for a way to improve and change your life for the better, right? How are you going to strengthen those emotional and mental muscles as you do your physical muscles to prepare yourself for these changes and challenges and life's, you know, um, lefts and right hooks that come our way? It's through it's through, you know, grief, it's through job changes, it's through marriage changes, it's could be an empty nester, um, home changes, just things that make you shift uh, along your way. How prepared are you to interact with that realization and still be strong enough to move forward, right? How prepared are you, right? So by joining my challenge about learning to let go, it's to build an amazing sense of confidence and control, right? Inner confidence and control. But what does that look like for many people, right? Inner confidence and control. They're like, well, what does that look like? 
Well, it looks like, okay, it looks like going and having the confidence to ask for that raise, right? It looks like walking among your coworkers who you despise, right? They're toxic, but you have the confidence to just walk right through, okay? Go back past them at the coffee area and not have this physical angst around you because you just are thinking, overthinking and overthinking about what they're thinking of you or saying of you, but you have that confidence. So you just levitated, you just elevate past all those people, right? Um, confidence looks like starting that online job, right? That we are creating, that I created here myself. That's what that self-confidence looks like. And I talk about in my challenge and I challenge you for th there's three simple days, right? Three simple presentations, three simple times together, easy times together. And I give you some very practical, simple steps to take. Um, and we learn, we learn all of that together. You learn a lot about yourself so that you can start, you know where you're starting, right? And there's aspects to the challenge that you learn how to let go of a lot of stuff that is just weighing you down, okay? Fears, doubts, right? Fear of not being good enough, doubts of not performing at work, fears and worries about the clutter in your home. There's just, I could, I could go on and on and on. But anyway, as you've joined me here in my presentation, just go ahead and click my account. Um, you'll find I'm either doing this here on Facebook or I have, I'm sharing this on TikTok. I'm sharing this on YouTube. Click my account because it takes you right to the challenge. Join me in there. It's next week. It's the 18th, 19th, and 20th, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You don't have to attend everyone. You will get the recording. But once you're in the Facebook group with me in the challenge, you'll get all the materials you need just to just just to click the, the dial a little bit closer to your definition of greater quality of life. Again, I'm Elima Hong. I talk about passive income and positivity. And I'm really hoping I see you in my challenge. Have a great day.